This is really insane. Hi everyone, what's up? Your boy Al is here with episode 11 review of Ashinoko season 2 so let's enjoy the ride. At first we see Kana offer to help Aqua pack for the Miyazaki trip and suggest they buy a decent suitcase. Aqua agrees and proposes they meet at Shinjuku Station's east exit at 4pm. Kana goes home to try on different outfits, wanting to pick something Aqua might like. After checking the time, she leaves and meets Aqua at a restaurant. They chat over their meal, and before leaving, Kana offers to pay. She then notices a couple sitting nearby. Aqua suddenly agreeing to things so easily is kinda nice and funny at the same time, because we are finally getting to see the gentle side of Aqua, which is showing his growth as a person, and everyone's reaction to this change is super hilarious. We see Kana feeling jealous when she sees the man paying for his spouse's meal. Despite Kana offering to pay, Aqua pays for the meal. They go to a department store where Aqua buys a white suitcase. As they leave, Kana reflects on his choice, realizing the suitcase's color matches her glow stick. Later, they go to another restaurant to eat. Kana compliments Aqua's strong dating tactics, and Aqua explains himself. She then asks about his relationship with Akane, and Aqua admits he needs to give Akane a clear answer regarding their relationship. It looks like Aqua likes Kana more than Akane, which is a bit interesting because Akane has been more supportive of him so far, but I don't think Aqua can break up with Akane so easily. Moving on we see Kana offer Aqua some helpful advice. They take a taxi to drop Kana off at her home, and she feels mildly disappointed that Aqua didn't take her to a hotel. While scrolling through her phone, Kana notices a photo of Aqua with Akane and wonders how he'll handle Akane's feelings. Later, Aqua and Akane visit a cafe, where Aqua takes a picture of Akane and asks her about her love for photo effects. Aqua reflects on their relationship, believing that with his father seemingly dead, he no longer needs to keep Akane close. Aqua has been using Akane as a tool to reach his goal, so from his viewpoint he is trying to fix things by breaking up with Akane, but he should try to see things from a broader perspective if he truly wants to fix things, otherwise he will never fully understand how these girls feel. Next we see Akane and Aqua talk about her future plans, and Aqua suggests she travel to Miyazaki with him and be Kamiji. He wants to discuss their relationship, but Akane, sensing a breakup, proposes they talk about it immediately. As they walk to the spot where Aqua once saved her, Akane shares her thoughts and eventually hugs him. Aqua pushes her aside and questions her feelings for him. Although Akane is uncertain about their relationship, she expresses her desire to support him in some way. I think Aqua somehow sees Ai's resemblance in Akane, and that's why he opened up so much to her. Also these girls are so head over heels for Aqua that they are willing to go all in for him, which is great and scary at the same time. At the end we see Akane acknowledge Aqua's reasons for entering the entertainment industry but suggests that someone should help carry his burden. Aqua then shares his plan to find his father, revealing that his father is dead, allowing him to live freely. Akane picks up on a loophole in Aqua's words and leaves, debating whether to inform him about it. Meanwhile, Ruby visits Ai's grave and talks about her life and Aqua's progress. As she leaves, she passes an unknown man who later confirms at the grave that he is Ruby and Aqua's father. See, this is the big moment feeling that was missing in the last episode, so it seems like Aqua and Ruby's father is indeed alive, and this raises many questions like, did Taiki lie, if not then is he unaware as well, who is the other guy, is their father really responsible for Ai's death, what will Aqua do when he finds out about this, and many other things. Overall this was a very thought-provoking episode with a mind-blowing reveal at the very end, and I really loved it. Nevertheless, thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, because it helps me fight the almighty YouTube algorithm, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.